Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right. Hey, welcome to another Unboxing Saturday. Uh, I kind of got an interesting story here, but we're not going to tell that story. Okay, maybe we will. Uh, so last Saturday, if you were there, and maybe we'll tag the uh, video at the end. Last Saturday, I did the diecast club meet, which was the Saturday before. So, you know, we're kind of, you know. Anyway, oh my goodness. So guess who went to Nina to the diecast club one week early? Yeah, that's right. This guy right here. Yeah, the guy with two big thumbs up. Hey, give me a thumb up while you like this video. So anyway, so I went all the way across. Now, this is like an hour and a half away, and I was a week early. There was an extra week in the month, or a weekend in the month. They do the last weekend of the Saturday, or last Saturday of the month. So anyway, so instead of, you know, bust... Uh, I stopped at Walmart, didn't find anything. Um, I did go to uh, Dollar General, but the biggest thing is I went over to my friend's um, booth. He's got like three or four booths over at the Fox Valley Antique Mall, which is over Appleton, Appleton area. Yeah. So anyway, you can Google that. Do the Google. You can find that. Of course, do you think I you know, would get a slip or a, the card from them so I could show it? No. But anyway, I was off that whole day. So let's look at what <laughs> exciting stuff that I got from, uh, yeah, regular stores that you never heard of before. Like, uh, what was this one? Oh, yeah, this is the Dollar General. So what did I get from the Dollar General down the road there? I got me one of these buggers. All right, yeah. So we got a matchbox. And uh, yeah, can't beat that. The other place that they have up there in um, Appleton area is uh, the Hobby Lobby. Uh, where does it say it? The, the Hobby Lobby. So I knew I could find something over there, and for sure, for $6.99, whoo, man, I found a uh, Land Rover Defender 110. The deluxe car, so that's uh, pretty awesome stuff. I don't have this variation, and so yeah, a little spendy, but uh, I had already burnt up three gallons of my gas tank to get there, so <laughs> might as well spend the rest of my budget. All right, so there you go. So let's dig into what I got there. Uh, some of it was from my friend Josh and his booth. Some of it was from uh, other vendors there and um what did i spend i i spent yeah like 42 bucks unbelievable don't tell anybody don't tell my tax man all right so i got some packages here and uh pretty cool there and then i uh got some loose stuff and some carded stuff let's try to get it out of the box or out of the bag here yeah a boxing video with no box all right, so we got that. All right, there you go. So big shout out, big shout out to Josh there at Fox Valley Antiques. Yeah, pretty pretty darn cool. Uh, I'm glad I, I was able to get over there. All right, so let's uh, take care. I got some loose ones here. I believe I got these from Josh. Yeah, a pair brothers of the next tire, uh, next in tires, the uh, double cab. All right, I and I think I got this bugger too, the uh, the old traditional TC Taylor uh, Matchbox uh, Land Rover 90. That was pretty cool. So that was uh, some of the common loose stuffs that they didn't package wrap up for me. Um, yeah, so here he is. He's got he's uh, booth 31. So uh, I got the uh, root beer sparkle. Uh, Land Rover, and then I got the um, the uh, Mint one, the series uh, pickups. I got that. Oh, and then I also got uh, the tan one from the Baja Blazers. So that's pretty cool. I picked up a, another of the Land Rover Defenders from uh, uh, Hot Wheels. 
And uh, okay, another double cab. This is the mint one. This is first edition. That was uh, new for 2018. That was also the uh, 50th year for Hot Wheels. And then I got the uh, blue one of the, um, matter of fact, let's do this around here this way. I got uh, two blue ones from him and a red one. So that was pretty darn toot and cool there. Oh, here's another loose one I found. Came out of the bag. Here's another. I got this one from him too. And it was like a dollar or something like these. All these loose cars were like a dollar. So you could pick this. This is uh, the archaeologist. Uh, this comes from a five set and it is brand spanking new. Usually these uh, that bull bar is tweaked, but this has got no chips. No chips on it. These things, uh, yeah. But it's the uh, second generation with the plastic Thailand um, version. Uh, not the latest one, the second one. The first one would be, uh, see here, oh, let's just show you. So this is this is kind of the difference there. You can see from the last one to the second gen, they're uh, different. Yeah, yeah, pretty darn toot and cool. All right, yeah, so there we go. Well, we got those there. Let's start with this little itty bitty one here. I don't know, uh, you know, it's been a while. Uh, I've been sitting on this waiting to show you guys. So let's see what I got. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I found this little bugger, five bucks, not bad. This is from the um, Disney's Pixar car movie. Yeah, this is, uh, oh, what's his name? Yeah, uh-huh, sure. <laughs> oh, Grenadier, Grenad I don't know. But anyway, very nice shape. Yeah, I got this uh, Booth 31, that's uh, Josh again. Very good shape, very good price. Uh, five dollars. That's not bad, you know, because these are I think the the base is plastic But it's all metal and uh, Really good shape. So I, I really like that one. So that was a cool one from Josh I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit now that we got that bag out of here All right, let's uh, step on over to another one here. These guys are really helpful man if you got time to burn and they're into looking at old stuff and stuff like that i mean they've got i don't know two big warehouse buildings i've done a video before uh about being there and uh yeah so really cool oh yeah here's a gem here's a gem now i didn't buy this from josh this is a different booth i paid a little bit more for this one um boy i wonder if i could just look it up really quick here uh let's see 10 bucks yeah yep that's right i bought this for 10 bucks this is ladies and gentlemen a uh melby toys land rover metal base metal one top uh 143rd scale opening door let's get in focus opening doors left hooker the back opens up this flips flips up if i remember right yep I've got one of these, I think two of them, but uh, for 10 bucks, I thought, oh, and the hood opens, that's right. Now it's missing the tire on the top of the uh, bonnet there, but that's all right. Um, but yeah, not too bad, all the tires are there. It's, uh, yeah, the price tag is there too. <laughs> we can pull that off of there. You don't need that on there. Come on now, don't play with me now. Uh, somebody else I live with uh, sells that all the time. Don't play with me. <laughs> Come on here, you little bugger. All right, there we go. All right, we got her out. Now we can look at her uninhibited. Yep, yep. So this has got a big old decal that goes along the side that talks about the, uh, what is it, transatlantic tour or something? I can't remember. But uh, yeah, green little gas uh, water cans, gas cans, a Series 1. Very, very heavy, but like I say, the wheels are all there, all original, 10 bucks. I thought that was a deal, so I picked it up. Missing one of the green gas cans over there, but very, very nice. All right, so this is a big one. Oh, this is, uh, I know what this is, uh, the grand finale, but I, you know, you know, I got surprised the last time I bought one of these, so I'm like, well, what the heck, let's buy another one. And I can't remember what I paid for this. Let's see if I can look it up real quick. 
Tootsie, five bucks. You can't go wrong with that. Five bucks. Now, yeah, the last time I bought one of these, it was a variation. I don't know, again, if I'm uh, <laughs> looking at another variation or not. We'll have to see. But uh, this is like one of the later ones. Now, I know that that's kind of an odd tire, the brown with that, uh, I don't know, 22 holes in the sides. Uh, brown interior, brown with the Tootsie toy, black top. Really nice. And all the parts are there. Pretty awesome. Looks like it's original. And, and also, yeah, the uh, steering wheel is there. So, yeah, pretty, pretty darn tootin' cool. All right. Well, there you go. An unboxing um, Saturday with no box, but uh, some pretty cool stuff. All right, well, we're going to leave looking at this baby here. Yeah, this, I like this one. I'd say out of all of them, this is my best purchase for the day. All right, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Give me a big thumbs up. This is your friend Dano. I'm out of here. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.